I'm spending a lot of time, uh, most of talking about Millie and about uh, how we met and how we got together and and how she, what type of person she was, and so forth. And the main reason for that is so that you get to know Millie the way I. get to know Millie. Of course, you wouldn't know, wouldn't know Millie as well as me, naturally, but just get some idea of the type of person Millie was and uh, how much she really meant to me. And so that you can understand how I felt when the question of nursing homes uh, kept coming up. Uh, my kids, my daughters uh, kept uh, telling me how it was going to be necessary to put her in a nursing home. My doctors telling me the same thing. Community mental health ca uh, case manager, they're all telling me the same thing. And uh, finally, uh, I just had to face the fact, the reality was that, yeah, she'd have to go into a facility where she could be supervised 24 hours a day. And uh, my only experience with nursing homes was very, very limited. Uh, we during the time we lived in Yuma, I worked in a nursing home for about three months. But I had, during that time, I had no direct contact with with uh, the residents because at that time I was a maintenance supervisor, which uh, meant that it wasn't necessary for me to deal with with uh, residents. So I had no knowledge of how the how uh, the residents interacted with uh, the, the support staff, clinical support staff. So I was going blind. I actually, in spite of the fact that I did work in a nursing home, I was still going blind. I knew very little about what to expect other than what I had uh, heard from people uh, from time to time that nursing homes were this or that or the other thing. And um, so when it came time to put her in a nursing home, I uh, went about it the best I could.